Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this tutorial we're going to connect to another Raspberry Pi on my local network um, but we're going to use the Secure Shell File Transfer, Transfer Protocol uh, SFTP. Um, so I'm just going to bring up my terminal window. Um, you need to make sure that SSH is enabled on your other device. So if you get command line access um, then you need to do the sudo uh, raspi config um, but if you've already got it uh, set up for SSH then you will not need to do this little bit and then I'm just going to show you just in case you don't have it so you would go to the um, interface options and then select SSH and then click on yes and it will say that it's enabled um, you may need to reboot press right to get to the bottom right again select um, and then it will either ask you to reboot or it'll be perfectly fine depends on how things are on the Pi version that you're using um, if you have dex uh, desktop um, on that Pi then go to preferences Raspi configuration and select interfaces and SSH enable it click OK and that'll be it everything's fine um, like I say you may need to reboot um, but well, uh, I guess you'll find out when you do it um, right so when you have that sorted uh, and you want to connect into your Raspberry Pi I'm just going to bring up my terminal again and uh, just move it up a smidge and I am currently working in this directory here okay um, but let's say I want to transfer something into the uh, Raspberry Pi um, and let's have a look in the um, desk top and the sort out oops it's a capital sort out later folder um, so um, changed into that directory um, and I'm going to do the ls and I have a home directory here which coincides with the other home um, so I'm going to uh, cd into the home directory and ls and there we go um, so this is the folder kind of like a copy of um, what we're going to do the sftp into um, so let's just clear the screen and to go into it just do sftp P, and then pass in your user that you're going to pass into um, default you are set for Pi um, and then enter the IP address so mine is 192.168.0.17 your, yours will most likely be different um, so just find out what the IP address is on that Pi uh, you can do IF, um, IF config and it will give you your local address on your network um, or if you have the desktop go to the little um, symbol uh, and it'll tell you the uh, IP address of where you currently are okay so if I press enter it's now trying to log in so I need to enter the password uh, and it doesn't display any digits so I just keep just type away um, if it's default then it'll be Raspberry right so I am connected um, and if I do the ls that will list what is on the home directory of your remote Raspberry Pi um, so I have a screen attached because it's a um, for my graphical user interface for my heating security control um, so I have that folder uh, and this is the folder that we have a copy that we're working in locally uh, and we want to go into that as our remote so if I um, CD into home and now if I do LS you can see it is a similar sort of file structure to what I did earlier um, when I was on um, in the local directory um, I can find out the working directory that we are in by doing L uh, sorry PWD present working directory and it will tell you that it is your remote working directory as that um, if I want to find out my local uh, present working directory I can do LPWD for local 
uh, and you'll see it returns with local working directory and this is where I am. So I'm in the home directory um, on my Pi via the desktop and sort later lol um, folder. Um, there's a load of messing uh, of files and stuff. Um, so basically I want to grab um, a file. Uh, in fact first of all we'll do the help and it'll give you a list of all the commands that are as part of it. So I'm just going to make this a little bit taller so you can get a bit more information on screen. So that is where we called the help. Um, so we can cd by changing directory which we have done. Um, you can do certain commands. Um, you cannot do a Python shell like you do with an in um, SSH um, but you can change ownership mode and the group of a file. Um, exit by and quit will take you out of uh, where you are. Um, PWD uh, as we've already done um, for the present working directory. Um, get is the command that you're going to use uh, for downloading files from the remote um, Raspberry Pi. Um, and if I go down to the, there we go, put that is to upload a file into that directory where you are. Um, you can put it in to another directory but um, try and make it, uh, things a little bit simple for yourself um, on your first couple of goes. Uh, if I scroll down you can rename a file um, for the remote um, file that you are working uh, of in that directory. Uh, you can remove a remote directory um, by using the rmdir um, so you can do that like you do in the SSH um, or your terminal um, and you can find out the version. Now here you can do the uh, exclamation mark and a command to ex execute a command like it says there in the local shell. So if I want to find out my um, I've not tried this, I'll try uh, the exclamation mark and then Python 3 and see if it'll... Where did it go? There we go, Python 3. Okay, so I can actually get into doing Python on uh, in this, uh, but if I just quit here, um, so I'm back to this point, but like I say, we are working in the remote directory of there but if I try and do the Python 3 it's not going to allow me to do it um, so you can run some commands on your local um, Raspberry Pi or what device that you're working on um, it should work on most Linux systems um, but you can do the um, exclamation mark ls and then dash l and it will give you the uh, permissions for the files etc. Um, so you can do stuff that way. Um, so I'm going to bring back the help commands. So let's do a um, we'll do the get first. So we'll download a file. So let's just list out the current directory. So let's say we want to get the uh, let's go for a picture rather than an actual Python file. So we'll go with program button PNG. Okay, so we'll go with that. So we're going to get is the command, and then you need to add the um, the source. So you need to pass it in as a string. So I want to get uh, the prog underscore um, button dot PNG and then space and then in a string again uh, what you want to actually call it on your local machine so we'll we'll call this prog uh, underscore button 2 dot png and then finish off the string so we've got the get command for download the program button png and we're going to save it as program well, prog underscore btn button 2 dot png uh, and you'll see that it 
is fetching from there so it gives you the full um, path and it's going to save it um, as so and it's done it so now if I um, um, do the exclamation mark and ls if I look for the program button 2.png there we go uh, and if I just bring up my desktop and sort out the ms folder and the there and there we go so if I just double click that that's going to now open so we have the file perfectly no problem sorted um, but let's say we want to actually send now I've been working on house 2 um, as part of my um, my playlist videos for my home heating control for this whole project um, so let us put by um, uploading a file so the command is put and we're going to put um, the house 2.py um, and that needs to be passed as a string so space again and then way we want to actually put it so the destination so we'll call this house um, I think I've already got a house I've got house free here let me just see um, before I uh, pass any more um, we have a house too so this um, this is a version that's currently running on my system so we're going to call this house free dot pi and finish off that string so like I say we're using the put command to do the uh, upload um, as a string we need to pass in uh, the destiny sorry the source file which is house 2 uh, in our current directory and we're going to put it into uh, the um, destination as house free.py so we're renaming it as well um, you can keep the same name it's entirely up to you I'm just going to press enter and now it's uploaded the house free um, it's done it okay and now if we do the ls now we should see the house free.py file um, if I try and do the um, nano pi what am I doing it's house free.py you see you can't do that um, so you can only do certain commands um, which are listed here um, as part of uh, when you're doing the secure shell file transfer protocol um, so there we go so that's how you can transfer files and upload and make some changes you can make direct uh, directories um, you know you can remove them as well but be careful when you are doing that uh, especially on a remote, remote device because um, you don't want to mess things up um, so when you are done you can just simply type in exit and it will drop out of the uh, secure shell file transfer protocol and as you can see there I now have my oakpy um, command line back on okay so that's it for this video thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one